Have you ever wondered why we can move freely in space but can't travel back in time? Time and space are often talked about together, but they're actually quite different. In this video, we'll explore why time isn't just another dimension like the ones we see in space. We often hear people say that time is the fourth dimension, alongside length, width, and height. While this idea sounds cool, it's not entirely accurate. Sure, time and space share some similarities. We can measure both, and they're both important in physics. But that's where the likeness ends. Today, we'll uncover the key differences between time and space. We'll look at why you can walk forward and backward, but time only moves in one direction. We'll also explore how we experience time versus space and dive into some mind-bending ideas from physics. By the end of this video, you'll have a new appreciation for what makes time unique. Time and space share some interesting similarities that often lead people to think of them as closely related. Let's explore a few of these similarities. First, both time and space are dimensions in which events occur. In our daily lives, we describe where something happens using three spatial dimensions, length, width, and height. But to fully describe an event, we also need to know when it happens, which brings in the time dimension. This is why time is often referred to as the fourth dimension in physics. Second, both time and space can be measured and quantified. We measure space in units like meters or miles, and we measure time in units like seconds or hours. This ability to quantify both dimensions allows us to describe the world around us in precise terms. For example, we can say that a car travels 60 miles in one hour, combining measurements of both space and time to describe its speed. Finally, time and space are essential components of space-time in relativity theory. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, space and time are intertwined into a single four-dimensional continuum known as space-time. This means that the position of an event in the universe is described by four coordinates, three for space and one for time. This concept is crucial for understanding how gravity works and how objects move in the universe. These similarities help us understand why time and space are often discussed together. But as we'll see, they also have some fundamental differences that set them apart. Now that we've looked at some similarities, Let's explore the key differences between time and space. These differences are what make time unique and set it apart from the spatial dimensions we're familiar with. Let's start with directionality. In space, we can move freely in any direction. You can walk forward, backward, left, or right. You can even move up or down if you have the right equipment. But time is different. It seems to flow in only one direction, forward. We call this the arrow of time. We can remember the past and imagine the future, but we can only experience the present moment moving forward. Next, let's think about how we experience space and time. We can directly see and touch things in space. You can look around the room you're in right now and see objects at different distances. You can reach out and touch things near you. But time is trickier. We can't see or touch time itself. Instead, we experience it as a constant flow. We feel time passing but we can't point to it or grab it like we can with objects in space. Another big difference is reversibility. In space, you can retrace your steps. If you walk to the kitchen, you can turn around and walk back to where you started. But with time, we can't do that. We can't go back to yesterday or relive a moment from last week. Once a moment has passed, it's gone forever. This one-way nature of time is a fundamental difference from space. Lastly, let's talk about uniformity. In our everyday lives, space feels pretty uniform. A meter is always a meter, no matter where you are or what you're doing. But our perception of time can change a lot. Sometimes time seems to fly by, like when you're having fun with friends. Other times, it can drag on, like when you're waiting in a long line. Even though clocks measure time consistently, our experience of it can vary widely. These differences show us that while time and space are both important in physics, they behave in very different ways. Understanding these differences helps us make sense of our world and how we move through it. Now let's dive into some of the deeper physical and theoretical distinctions between time and space. These ideas might seem a bit tricky, but we'll try to keep things as simple as possible. First, let's talk about entropy and the second law of thermodynamics. Entropy is a measure of disorder in a system. 
and it plays a big role in how we understand time. The second law of thermodynamics tells us that in an isolated system, entropy always increases over time. This gives us what scientists call the arrow of time, a clear direction from past to future. Interestingly, there's no similar law for space. You can move left or right, up or down, and the laws of physics work the same way. But with time, there's a clear difference between moving forward and backward. When it comes to quantum mechanics, things get even more complicated. In quantum theories, time is often treated differently from space. While we can measure the position of a particle in space pretty precisely, measuring time in quantum systems is trickier. This difference becomes a big challenge when scientists try to combine quantum mechanics with Einstein's theory of general relativity, which treats space and time as parts of the same thing, space-time. Now, let's think about some philosophical ideas about time. One big question is about the nature of the now moment. We all feel like we're living in a special now, but it's hard to define exactly what that means. In space, we can easily point to here, but now is more slippery. Some philosophers and physicists have proposed the idea of a block universe, where all of time, past, present, and future, exists all at once, like a giant block of space-time. In this view, the flow of time that we experience might be an illusion. These ideas about time lead to some big questions. Is time real in the same way that space is? Does time actually flow, or do we just experience it that way? How does our understanding of time affect ideas about free will and the nature of the universe? While we don't have all the answers, thinking about these questions helps us appreciate just how different time is from space, even though they're often talked about together. Remember, these are complex ideas that even scientists and philosophers debate about. The important thing is to keep asking questions and being curious about the nature of time and space. Now that we've explored the differences between time and space, let's talk about why understanding these differences is so important. First, these differences are crucial for physics and cosmology. Scientists who study the universe need to understand how time and space work to make sense of what they observe. For example, when astronomers look at distant galaxies, they're actually seeing those galaxies as they were millions of years ago because of how long it takes light to reach us. This shows how time and space are connected in our observations of the universe. The way time behaves also affects how we understand the history and future of the universe. The idea that time only moves forward helps explain why the universe seems to have a beginning, the Big Bang, and might have an end. If time worked like space, where we could move in any direction, the universe might look very different. Understanding time and space also changes how we think about reality and our place in the universe. The idea that time flows in one direction affects how we see cause and effect, and even how we think about free will. If we could move through time like we move through space, would our choices in the present still matter? These ideas about time and space also impact how we see ourselves in the universe. Are we just specks in a vast space-time continuum? Or does our ability to experience and measure time give us a special place in the cosmos? These are big questions that scientists and philosophers are still thinking about. In our everyday lives, understanding the nature of time can change how we think about our experiences. It might make us appreciate the present moment more, knowing that we can't revisit the past. Or it might change how we plan for the future, understanding that our perception of time can be different from how time passes. So, while these ideas about time and space might seem abstract, they have a big impact on how we understand our world and place in it. That's why scientists, philosophers, and curious people like us keep exploring these fascinating ideas. We've delved into complex ideas from physics and philosophy, examining how concepts like entropy and quantum mechanics reveal the unique nature of time. We've also considered the implications of these differences, from their impact on our understanding of the universe to their influence on our daily lives. Understanding the distinctions between time and space not only enhances our grasp of physics, but also prompts us to reflect on our place in the cosmos. It challenges us to think deeply about the nature of reality, causality, 
and even our own existence. As we conclude, remember that the study of time and space is an ongoing journey. Scientists and philosophers continue to grapple with these concepts, and new discoveries may reshape our understanding in the future. So keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep marveling at the mysteries of time and space that surround us every day. Thank you for joining me on this fascinating journey through the Mitzes Hamid Shamitz, then says Hef Hor Shamit. Data de mean chuni gadat of psychophagans, oh my bamaus to watch a mega sozon, one since you so I made you nitty wise wise as so wise as such. But since you are so till next time, keep your curiosity alive and your mind open to the wonders of space and time.